Hello fellow pilots, I'm Major Payne and this is the next episode of Advanced Fighter Pilot Training. And in this episode we will talk about equipment, consumables, uh, pilot skills, but not only. Um, did you know that in a premium hangar there is a coffee shop just beside the airstrip over there? And uh, you see the pretzel? That pretzel is German, so if I change my plane to Russian plane like MiG-15, you have a coffee over there. And the offer is changed, like British plane will have afternoon tea, and French will have croissant and I guess coffee, so that's my favorite. <laughs> now, uh, what else, like Polish plane, there's only one Polish plane in the game, but it's a very good one, and you see, Pieroszki! <laughs> so that's that's nice. I didn't know that as well, re until recently I find out, so uh, almost every player I ask, they don't know about this, so that's small secret of your hangar. Now let's get into the important stuff. Equipment. Every plane can have two configurations. Uh, first is stock and then specialized. Uh, so to have this specialized configuration we have to, first thing first, we have to finish the grinding all those uh, modules. Um, if it's premium plane we can start straight away start to do the uh, special set of missions for uh, specialist configurations which are here in the right corner of the of your hangar so in this case uh, i have tier 9 bvp 212 03 so this is a multi role fighter on tier 9 in german tech tree and in order to have the specialist configuration, we have to go through these missions here. So personal point earn for destroying enemy aircraft. I have just 1,000, so I just started. I need 54,000. And air defense aircraft or AA guns destroyed. Uh, so that's easy, 55 only I have to do, so that's pretty easy. And then when we finish all those missions, then we can purchase uh, a configuration like for almost 1 million of silver. And, but in a, in a half of this mission, we will have a discount uh, as well. If you would like to finish this uh, using your uh, tokens, then you can use your tokens. Uh, like I could do that straight away for 110 tokens, or I can do the half of the missions and I will have a discount, as you can see here. Now, if you're not specialized, then you still can have, of course, your equipment, but the equipment have limitations. Now, every equipment when you buy uh, this have this technological level. Uh, when you buy in is when you first buy is 100, then you can upgrade that uh, to 200, and then 300 and 400. But the thing is that if you upgrade that over 200 technological level, then you're gonna lose your bonuses. In in this one, lightweight uh, lightweight wing frame, I have a bonus. As you can see on the yellow color, uh, plus 3% wing resistant to critical damage. So I have it here, gyroscopic sight on the first slot. And uh, as you can see, bonus characteristic are inactive because the technological level of this uh, equipment is 300. So this is how it's worked basically. Uh, and uh, of course there is as well calibration and if you have plane which is not specialized you can calibrate those uh, equipment but up to 258 as I have here on this lightweight power unit uh, it's very easy you just go to calibration and you can calibrate that from 200 up to uh, 258 but um, yeah but if you go want to go any forward any better equipment you want to put it in here then you're gonna lose your extra bonuses now, uh, let's specialize one of my plane. I have here P-1056, it's a heavy fighter tier 8 uh, in British tech tree. And I finished my um, missions here, and I can purchase a specialized, ver specialized version of this plane. Now, of course, as tier is going up, then the price is going up as well. So tier 10 is most expensive, and uh, lowest tier are more, less expensive. So. Okay, so we have a specialized configuration now, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the uh, equipment. As you can see, all equipment is clear off and we have all the slots available. Okay, so let's fit in everything now. And um, on first slot, I will go with fire, firing accuracy. Yeah. And I have a few of these in my warehouse, uh, so I use that. And now, 
we can improve that um, from level 200 up to 300 and we're gonna get extra bonus now as you can see that's pretty expensive uh, and this process is actually taking quite a lot of time you can't really do it by clicking one button and have it done no we need to spend some time on it specifically specifically sorry when we start to calibrate these now at this point this uh, gyroscopic site have te technological level 400 and i have three bonuses as you can see in a yellow uh, in here and 10% uh, chance of causing fire 10% chance of inflicting critical damage, 5% chance of inflicting critical damage. So it's quite a lot. Like We, we have altogether 15% chance of inflicting critical damage and 10% of uh, chance, chance for fire. Like So that's very good. And, uh, and from this point, I can calibrate that um, up to 478. Of course, I'm not going to get any extra bonuses, but that's going to just improve the accuracy and of course this downfall which is here pilot resistant to injuries all right but let's calibrate that yeah so i finally finished half an hour later and a million silver <laughs> less and uh, yeah so that's the maximum what we can get but there's always some but so in the game there exists such a thing as a special equipment as you can see here on my MiG-15 I have those two with this red ribbon and they are just a little bit better than the regular one we just put in uh, to my heavy fighter so the difference is not that significant but still it's worth to have it and they are available uh, as far as I know still in a premium store but they from time to time you can get them from some events, sets of missions, uh, so it's really worth to uh, fight for them and get them because they they improve your uh, performance uh, even forward, but not that much, but it's really worth it, like if you want to have like maximum specialized plane, absolutely top maneuverability or speed or whatever you like, then uh, you definitely would need them. If you want to see the difference between the special equipment and the regular one, just press Alt on it and you can see all the parameters, all the bonuses uh, for this equipment. The same with uh, new equipment which you are going to buy. Uh, if you want to know uh, what you're going to get after you maxed out the technological level and the calibration, you just press Alt. Even before you buy this equipment, you can just press Alt on it and you can see this, all the bonuses, all the parameters. So that can be very useful. And the uh, uh, last thing I want to say here is this uh, two equipment. That may be a little bit confusing, so let's clear this out. You see they are both technological level 200, but they look different. Like this one have different parameter and this one have different parameter. 4.5% of acceleration without the boost. And this is because we have extra bonus, which been added into this 3.5%. Uh, so that's give us 4.5%. Um, so it's like subtotal for it and in this case here we have only 3.5% acceleration without the boost because our bonus is different our, bo our bonus is 0.5% maximum speed with boost activated so um, those bonuses are different uh, but you can change them uh, I come back to that in a moment now let's get back to our heavy fighter and let's finish all this uh, equipment fitting Okay, so I have this all done now. Um, I didn't calibrate it, I just left it on 400 of this technological level of this equipment. And I pretty often do that, I just uh, upgrade that to 400 and I'm not calibrating because the cost is extremely high and uh, I don't feel that every, every plane needed like. Um, now, uh, one more important stuff here is uh, with equipment, we have those bonuses and there is option to change those bonuses uh, so to do that uh, like in this case here i have a uh, reload speed of bombs and rockets and i uh, change those bonuses to have this reload even more so we go on here to reassemble and as you can see here uh, you can choose which bonus you want to keep and which you want to um, change and on when you just move your mouse here you can see what kind of bonus you can get 
And this is very expensive, like to change one of these only, I will pay 400 uh, silver plus for tokens. So that's pretty expensive because they are valuable. Um, of course, I don't need to do that now because I already did. Uh, I spent 800,000 here and eight tokens to change two of these, uh, to have this bomb reload speed and uh, rocket speed. So this is pretty important. Not everyone knows about it, that that can be changed. I didn't know that. I didn't know it for good time, I would say, for good amount of time in the game, I didn't know that I can change these bonuses. Always take a look what kind of bonus you have, what you can have in... Like if you're trying to... if you have some light fighter and, and you want to have like maximum of maneuverability, then you have to go to the, those bonuses and check them. Um, are they really give you the maximum of the maneuverability? Uh, like in this case here, I could, I could improve my maneuverability, but I'm gonna leave those bonuses with cruise speed and 2% of HP. I don't need the maneuverability on this heavy fighter that much. Now let's move to the consumables. And in here we have a um, pretty obvious uh, choice. Like you need to decide yourself, do you need the first aid or you prefer to have fire extinguisher? Like for example, if you're playing catch on fire, then better uh, have the fire extinguisher. You can check your um, resistance to fire in here. Um, in survivability on the right, um, hit points, resistance to damage, resistance to fire, and so on. So if it's low, then you may need to uh, consider to have the fire extinguisher. But uh, I want to go through, uh, let's say, some light fighter. MiG-15 will do. So what I have here in MiG-15, as you can see here on second slot, I have this pneumatic control assist. This is very interesting uh, consumable, which not everyone using, and I'm start using that recently it's very useful even on heavy fighters like i have a uh, messer i have uh, xf90 so you see i have it in the xf90 so if i met another xf90 i can press that and for 10 seconds i will be doing much tighter turns so i will get advantage of the uh, of uh, the enemy of course if he does if he doesn't have it and you know some player doesn't use that they use uh, emergency control system on something else and then you can have that and then you can outturn them. So let me actually show you the example of the battle I had with one of my colleagues from the clan. We just met in a battle. I shouldn't be able to outturn the slight fighter with the with my hunter, but thanks to this consumable I get the kill. Another consumable I wanna talk about is this engine cooling and this is what I would consider as a must-have for uh, speed fighters, um, altitude fighters and heavy fighters, like this is very useful. You can basically you get 10 seconds of extra boost or if you have a long boost and you, and you use it and you press this cooldown, then uh, your boost will um, restore quicker and uh, you can use it again. So it's very useful uh, if you chase some heavy fighter of, or if you are in heavy fighter and chase some other plane or something like that then that could be very very useful or to escape from the enemy and um, multi uh, occasions can be used so must have specifically for fast fighters um, and uh, that will be it for the consumables basically uh, always use this universe I mean I mean I use it but I recommend to everyone to use this universal ammunition because uh, it, it's just not, it's, it, it costs like 10 thousand purchase per battle basically but this is it's, it's worth it it's i don't think there is need for a premium ammunition here and uh, so universal will absolutely do uh, and uh, yeah that's it for this and let's move to the pilot skills pilot skills in this game are very important they give you a lot of advantage in a game so it's worth to invest uh, exp and the bonuses whatever you have into trainings uh, pilot skills. Now on the top here you see 8 from 15, that means I have 8 points from 15. The maximum amount of skill points for a pilot is 15 in this game. Uh, the one here says that I have one available, uh, not been assigned to any skills, and this is progress for next point. Now in this particular plane I just invest my skills into the accuracy. But it's absolutely up to you, whatever you need in a battle. If you need a speed, then you invest into two Engine Guru 1 and 2. If you need maneuverability, then you go for Aerobatic Expert. And this one here as well, 
if you need more maneuverability and speed. But um, I wouldn't recommend that uh, until you specialize your plane because aerodynamics expert, uh, it's it's increased the bonuses from the equipment. So it's give you forty percent of the bonus what you have on the equipment. So if if you specialize your plane and you have your equipment, uh, you know, calibrated to the maximum, then this particular skill give you the maximum um, of it, like, you know, the maximum of maneuverability and uh, speed. But if you don't have a plane specialized, maybe it's going to be better to have some other skills. Uh, that's my advice. In the game, we have as well uh, special pilots um, available, but uh, they're very, very uh, rare and hard to get. I remember once uh, there was the offer for woman, woman pilots, uh, three different nations in premium store, and they definitely was available to in some events or missions or whatever. That was so long, long time ago. Now, those special pilots have special skills. Uh, I'm going to show you now what I have. I don't have them all, but I have some of those pilots. I have American uh, pilot woman, uh, Mary Lovenhart, and she have these skills. Eagle wings, uh, increase engine thrust by 2% and boost duration by 10% significantly improve aircraft acceleration and climb performance. So it's very useful. Um, and this one here is three points. Rocket and bombs release in a dive cause double damage to ground targets. Very, very good. So yeah, th that kind of... S but those skills cannot be reset. So um, that's what you need to know about this. Basically, they're very good, unique. But if, you, if I would like to reset that, um, I can reset only the four points. Those skills will stay. Uh, I can reset only those two. So it says nine points from 15. So they count as, as an other skills. So that's technically as well um, make me unable to have the set of skills which I could have on any other plane. So it is a small advantage in some situation and it's really, really worth to try to get them if they will, if they will be available in uh, any set of missions. It's really, really worth to try to get those pilots. I have as well, I want to show you this. Uh, Master Schmidt, my and there's German pilot woman, and she have unique skill as well that she uh, detect enemy planes uh, a range from uh, range at which enemy aircraft are detected is increased by forty percent, but the range which my aircraft is detected by the enemy is uh, as well increased by ten percent. So, but it's still very very good and this one here is very useful in head-on attack the pilot fires at most vulnerable section of enemy aircraft improves the chance of causing critical damage to the enemy aircraft and setting on fire and increase the damage cause in head-on attack by 20 percent so it's absolutely amazing and very useful in heavy fighters because uh, heavy fighters pretty often engage each other head-on so i have as well special pilot on plane tier 6 multi-role British tornado and this particular pilot uh, Millie, Millie Elliot if I'm right and she have one skill uh, but it's only for this particular plane so if I move her to another plane uh, this skill is not gonna work and the skill is increase the aircraft hit points and damage inflicted by forward fire weapons by 10% only for the tornado aircraft so it's two points for it, but it's um, so if someone like I mean, I have it, but I'm not a great fan of tornado. But if someone like this multi role fighter, then that's really um, fun to have it. Such a boost. And last special pilot I have is Marina Litvinkova. Uh, it's a Russian pilot woman, and she is like an expert in ground attackers, and she have two uh, skills. One is supernova. Increase the damage caused by bombs and rockets and their blast radius by 15%. If the aircraft is destroyed by collision with terrain or ground target, the aircraft explodes and deal damage in the affected area equal to double the uh, maximum number of hit points of this aircraft. So I, I, this is amazing. And this one here, this is a very good skill as well. Basically, you set everything on fire. So it's very good. Now, the last thing I want to mention is crew training. It's very important and uh, every time you finish uh, grinding uh, some plane and you buy another tier, like tier higher, and but 
like in this case here, I want to keep my BVP on tier 9. Then I have to go to the crew here on top and then mark this accelerate crew training. So that's mean basically that I will move all the X from this plane when I'm going to play now uh, to training. And uh, because if you don't do that, you're going to gather uh, X, which is not going to be useful for you. Of course, if you want to spend tons of gold and exchange that for free X, like I have it here, I have over 2 million of this X. I'd be happy to have this X on my pilots uh, instead of here like I would need the tons of gold now to transfer that into the free exp uh, but uh, yeah so keep that in mind most of you already know that but uh, it's easy to forget that when you finish a grinding plane uh, but you want to keep this plane and you keep flying this plane then go to crew and mark this so all the eggs will go for the training and as well as uh, boosters they're very important uh, and easy to get from missions so you probably have them um, I have like 16 of these bonuses and so if I want to play I just activate that and I go to the battle like for an hour or two hours but that's gonna boost my training. I don't know the dimension or not but the, the pilot skills are really really important in this game and make a difference. They, they make a difference. So invest in that heavily please. Now um, the very last thing now which is paint shop just I noticed that when I play with some of my colleagues they have a plane which have no camouflage and uh, the camouflage is not that expensive and it's give you a lot like 20% of concealment this is very important for ground attackers and multi-role fighters when they have to sneak into some sector not be detected by fighters so that can be very useful and but, but particularly bombers and ground attackers like plus 10% of tolerance of damage from AA guns and 5% tolerance of damage from gunners so that's that can be very useful okay I think that will be it for this video and I hope I've been helpful for some of you at least and thanks you guys for watching if you like it please leave a like and leave a comment and thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one take care